Have you ever find it difficult to sell your brother's chickens after hard labor of production? I can tell because I've been there myself before. The frustration that comes with it, the losses, and so on, it is so painful. After hard labor of production, you can or you could not sell your chicken profitably. So because of this, I've sought out ways to better sell my chicken profitably and make more profits. So in this video, I'm going to share with you 10 ways, 10 tips you can apply to market and sell your product chicken profitably after hard production. So do endeavor to watch this video to the end. If this is your first time, subscribe, like, and share this video so that it can also get to other people who also need it. So without no further ado, let's dive right in. The first thing you have to note is that who are your target markets? Identify your target market first. Are you selling to restaurants? Are you selling to wholesalers, individual consumers? This will enable you to tailor your production towards their needs for success. For me personally, depends on the time of the season. On a normal season, I do sell most of my chicken to off-takers, wholesalers. So I normally stop at six weeks and I do larger number. Look at your areas. Are you living in an urban area where you can easily sell bring it out from your street and sell to direct consumer. You can also do that and know the size they actually need. Okay? Second tip is what is your unique value proposition? What sets your brother's chicken apart from your competitors? Is it their taste, their size, their head benefits? You have to align this thing to your customer to know so that they will know what they are getting. What makes your chicken special from that of your competitors for me i do say my chicken tastes better because i use organic products on my chickens they look neat the size the weight the breast of my brother chickens is wide and the leg is tall and big so this is my value proposition which i said to my intended customers so do provide your value unique value proposition to your customer. Third tip, create eye caching packaging. Package your product very well. Package your brother chickens while you're going to the market. Make sure your brother chicken is attractive. Your packaging value is attractive and informative and it will alight your brother chicken in the best possible light. For me, I ensure I train my brother chicken to be very neat. What stands make my brother chicken to stand out in the market is their neatness. Imagine the red dish bright comes on the whitest background of their body. It is so attractive and I make sure I meet the tar target weight of my intended customer. I already know what they need, the size of bed they need, so I have to package my product towards their value so that as soon as they come, they will pay me the right money. The fourth way you can market and sell your brush you can profitably is to build a relationship with chefs and restaurant owners, food vendors in the streets. Mama put them. You have to build a relationship with them. You have to patronize them. Tell them what you do. Tell them your value. Give them sample. Okay. Provide customer service. You can even decide to bring the supply for them. Okay. There's nothing you will lose. Barrier production is what you do in a very short while and you need to get your return on investment very quickly. Within two months, you are done with broiler, broiler production. So you have the marketing, you have to be very rigorous. Okay, you have to go on your feet and go to the street and market your broiler chicken. So okay, now what I normally do, I go out there and I patronize them and I compliment their food and their meat and I tell them that how oh, where did they get their chickens from? And they tell me they go to the supermarket. I, can, I do sell brother chickens. I can supply for them. How many weeks do they like? Six weeks or bigger ones, eight weeks. So that I will know how to target or tailor my production whenever I'm tending to supply that customer. So do try and build a relationship with those people. The fifth way to sell a brother chicken is what? Sharing your products in social media platforms. Yes, social media platforms. Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, etc. If you're not doing that, you are missing big time. In this 21 century, you're not participating in social media by sharing your products 
in the platforms, you are missing out. This is where I get my most my customers. Okay, individual customers because in individual consumers you stay higher. So try to post on social media and be proud of your hustle. Okay, be proud. Tell them this is what you do. Okay, six tips to market and sell very profitably is to offer flexible pricing, competitive pricing. Ensure your your price is affordable. You can decide to give discount. Incentives, okay. Before you be able to do this, you ensure your cost of production is low. Avoid mortality in your brush checking because if you don't do this, if your cost of production is very high and there is mortality in your farm, you cannot actually give out these competitive prices and incentive to your customer. So what I normally do is to ensure that I avoid mortality. And secondly, the cost of production is very low and I meet the target weight at the right time. Number seven, offer exceptional customer service to your intended customers. Deliver on time, respond to them, follow up after you follow up. How far? I hope you got home well. I hope your bed did not die. I hope the packaging is all right. I hope the chicken tastes good and so on. It helps a lot to build the relationship for further business engagement. So this is very important. Don't overlook. Don't over. Even though you don't have chickens, even though you don't have chickens, you can go and get chicken from somewhere else. Get from your neighbors, your colleagues, found and say to them, even though you don't have chickens, to keep that relationship. Okay? It is very important. The eighth point here is to collaborate with Farmers, your colleagues, markets and market events. Build relationship with people. If they have any seminar, go there and showcase your products. If they have any gathering, any event that consigns borrowed chickens, chicken production, go there, build relationship with people. You can get intended customer, you can get contracts. People you'll be supply, supplying every at interval. So you just go attend seminar, attend event. And connect with other farmers and sellers. Connection builds progress. Consider value added products. If you have storage where you can fridge, refrigerator, you have manpower, you can marinate and smoke your chickens and package and put some sauce like a kirishi they do in beef. You can smoke your chicken, package it so that you can get wider audience, especially those audience. In your social media that say, oh, it's, uh, how can you transport it you can smoke your chickens package it and put sauce in it and transport it and give them you will make more profit if you have the available equipment to do that or finance to do that okay you can also sell in the street as outlet frozen chicken put in your freezer and sell direct to consumer in kilos you will make more profit if you have the financial strength okay Number 10, the last but not the least, is to monitor and adapt to market trend. Know what your customers are doing. Know what your competitors are doing and adjust. Know the price in the market and adjust. Know the customer preferences and adjust as well. The time of the season. And you flow with the market trend. You don't just stay in your home and think that, oh, what is sold, the amount is sold during December is what you say during August. No, it changes. And customers need different sizes of brother chickens at the at different time of the year. So you have to be at a lot, build relationship with people, listen to discussion, communicate with people, communicate with customers, communicate with consumers to know what they are doing and their preferences at every point in time. During normal time when there is no season, I normally do six weeks. Just six weeks and I sell out. Six weeks and I sell out and I try as much as possible to reduce cost of production, okay? Because during this time, the customer is not that much. So, remember that selling your brother chicken profitably entails good products, effective management and marketing, and lastly, good customer service. If you want to know the reason why you must raise your brother chicken between six weeks and eight weeks, you should watch the next video, okay? See you on my next video. Bye, Samus Arts.